Okay, I have now left the Raspberry Pi on overnight and uh, let it collect all this movie information for me so this bar is now gone. I've pulled the power out of the Raspberry Pi, um, just left it for 10 minutes or so and plugged it back in. Um, and instantly you will notice under your movie tabs you now see some recently added movies at the top here. Um, so you can now go into your uh, movie collection and what I advise you to do first of all is just let the uh, Raspberry Pi grab a little bit more information so immediately you'd notice it won't really be this move for yourself um, you will see this total duration keep clocking up um, and that's basically where it's trying to total all the times together to kind of compile everything and get all the artwork set for you so you'll find pictures missing uh, first of all again stuff like this that may be down to my network where it loads the pictures but there will be some where you can't uh, can't see them and that will mainly be down to where it's under load trying to calculate your total running time for all your films so let it finish let it get to its maximum place here um, should take about I don't know five or ten second intervals to change the figure um, so again just leave it for a while let it figure itself out and then uh, go out of your menu and go back into it again and hopefully you'll be able to just cycle through um, your movies and it'll become a lot smoother just gives it gives it a chance to sort itself out as you can see this is working a hell of a lot better than before this latest build with the fast profile is just unbelievable very very usable so I'll cover a few things um, it's mainly the same as before I mean I've shown you now how to get your movie information up on the screen and stuff uh, I did describe how I've renamed my folders and file names uh, copying it quite literally from IMDB just copy them all the, all the movies uh, titles so I'll go and show you pretty much just done a fairly good job for the most part um, there was a few instances where I've actually copied something that was in sort of brackets like a, an I or a 1 and that has thrown out uh, a few things so I'll try to find a, an example for you I seem to know my movie collection uh, again I have no idea what that is so that could possibly be the wrong film so I'm going to try and move my mouse to that. You can either use your mouse and right click on it or I think the command is C on the keyboard and you need to go to movie information and then you can go down to refresh you notice I couldn't have done this earlier so it's actually a film called Shooter um, and the problem that was thrown it up so it couldn't find the film is this I in the brackets here so that part of the uh, the text you don't need to copy from IMDB so I'll, uh, I'll try to go back and change that don't let me up onto the thing I might need to use stuff like that so I'm going to delete that brackets there I'll put that like so and I'll click done and it will search again so now shooter has come up on the top here so I can select that it's the right year and what this will do is go back to IMDB um, for all the information again and hopefully pick up all the right information and the right artwork for the film so before I didn't rename my folders um, I had a lot of films I mean probably about 80% of my collection come up wrong the first time and it meant I had to keep going in manually like this changing every single film over and over again each time I uh, installed a new build or changed machines so taking the time to rename your folders and files actually pays off in the long run uh, again that the only reason this is happening now is because I obviously put the brackets in uh, so this should, there you go, that's exactly the picture I need uh, it's exactly the right film and of course it'll update all the cast information uh, and it'll find the right trailers for you and everything set to how it should be so that's the way you uh, 
the updated stuff. This is just refresh itself now. And it get rid of that film off this list. So there we go. So that's now gone. And again, there's going to be a, a few like that for me. Um, there may even be, say, Children of the Corn. That's not showing any artwork. So you can do the same trick again. Just uh, you can either update your library just to make sure everything's been properly set. And if you do have any issues with the artwork or the wrong film title, uh, exactly the same thing applies. Just go to movie information, uh, research your film again. So just go to refresh, yeah, search the right film. And it's this top one here is exactly the one I need. And again, this is using IMDb as a scraper, which I uh, I shown in a little catch-up video. You can change different providers, um, so you may find your artwork changes. But each one's going to be uh, pretty good. Not quite sure if they use the exact same box art as, say, DVDs or Blu-rays that you buy. And there you go. So now it's loaded my uh, my artwork for me, so I can go back, and it's now in this list. So you may find a few issues. I mean, it's not really an issue. It's just something you need to just go through your collection and clean it up. Uh, and yeah, it updates and it saves it. So each time you go in, you don't need to do this. You only need to do it once on the build. Uh, as I said, it's it's definitely worth the time renaming your folders, so it it can pick it up first time. And again basically means I have to go from my uh, my collection and just take out the the eye in the brackets to to get most of the films to come up that that aren't uh, coming up first time so again Dark Knight that that just need exactly the same thing so I just need to go either C or um, the right click and move the information and just do exactly the same thing and it'll bring up the artwork for me so it's advisable cleaning up this uh, this library first it doesn't really matter which view you have it in the list view, you'll still be able to see your picture. As long as you've got everything cleaned up, you know every single film is going to work. So again, I'll just have to clean these up later. Um, again, that's going to be the wrong film, so if I click that, move the information, uh, go to refresh. And it's actually supposed to be a film called The Collector, um, but it's actually from a different year, it's not listed on here. I mean, it's done a pretty good job trying to find the collector, even though it's completely got it wrong at the top here. So, when you go to manual, it shows you your actual file name, which is very handy. So, we'll actually need to go back. Said in my case, it's not really a bad example. I mean, a bad example is not naming it at all, so it won't find anything. And then just click save. And there you go. So the right one's at the top now. So make sure you get the right one. Click OK. And it's now going to grab the uh, the information for that film. Very easy to, to fix. OK. So this is now found, found the right artwork for me. Um, again, I'm just going to delete this uh, title and the blank artwork off this list. So there you go. And obviously the collector will be quite far up this list under T. So, go for your collection, sort this out first. Um, once you've done that, you can uh, go and get a YouTube application, um, exactly the same way as I've shown before on the uh, previous tutorials that I've done. So, under videos and add-ons, I've already installed this in this case, but same thing applies, exactly the same way how to install it and set it up. You need to... Uh, just basically download it from the, the get more here and it display a list of add-ons uh, that are under the video category again I've shown how to do this so get that set up again uh, to exactly how you like